Hi, it's Hannah and today I'll be showing you how to do the stars and stripes design that's perfect for 4th of July or if you're just feeling patriotic. So let's get started. The first thing I'll be doing is creating the stars by applying white polish to a plastic sandwich bag first. I'm going to let this set overnight, I just like doing it that way because it's just safer, you make sure it's not still gooky. Once it's totally dry, I'm going to peel it off of the bag. If you have a hard time getting it off, try and scratch a little bit of one end off and it should peel off or you might need a thicker layer. Now I'm going to cut the polish into smaller pieces and then take a punch that has star shapes that I got from Joann's. You can also probably find it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or online. So I'm just going to put in a strip of the polish and then punch out my shapes and now I have some cute little stars. Once you're done with your stars, apply a base coat to help protect your nails. I'll be applying a blue polish to my thumb, pointer, and middle finger, and then a white polish to the rest. For this design, I'll be using the smaller stars only, and to attach them, I'm going to dab a little bit of top coat to where I want each star to go, and then I'll be using a dotting tool to pick them up and place them in the right spot. In case you're wondering how the stars attach to the dotting tool, I just put a little bit of water in a cotton ball, put the tool into the cotton ball, and the stars should attach really easy. For my other nails, I'll be applying a fast drying top coat just to help prevent the polish from lifting with the vinyls that I'll be using. And now I'll be applying my striping vinyls all the way down the nail. Don't forget to check the description for all the products that I used in this video and where you can get them. Next, I'm going to apply a red polish over the entire nail and then carefully remove the vinyls. Clean up any excess that got on the skin with a brush and polish remover. Also, now is a good time to fill in any gaps that you might have missed and clean up any lines that you need to. Finally, apply a top coat to help protect your design and add a nice glossy finish. Also, if your top coat has a tendency to smear your stripes, try and apply it from left to right rather than vertically. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to find me on social so you can tag me all your nail or nail art pictures. I'd love to see them and I'll see you later. Bye!